and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some tier one Tuesday action. We are playing some of the best decks in the format today. Got a lot of uh, feedback of people wanting me to play some of the popular decks and that's what we're doing today. I'm not playing necessarily like super, super stock list. You know, I didn't just like copy paste the list, but what I did is I went through um, like, you know, like Vampires, Mono Red, Esper, these decks, I went went through and looked at like a whole bunch of different deck lists and kind of put together um, the deck that I would like that I that I want to be playing with them. I uh, did that, you know, like with the Mono Red, with Esper. So like my, my list is just a tiny bit different from any individual list that you've seen, but it's, it's the one that I would recommend playing for those decks uh, right today. And... Uh, we're going to see how they do in Mythic. We're going to be playing five rounds with each deck. So to start with, we got Orzhov Vampires here. So Orzhov Vampires, a couple of things about this. Uh, I really, really like Vampire of the Dire Moon in the one-drop slot. Some people saw Vicious Conquistador. I really like this card. And basically, everybody is playing two Sanctum Seekers. And I just like a Johnny more than Sanctum Seeker. I think it's a better card. Now, there's one caveat that you know I am willing to to concede the fact that right now with scape shift being so popular that is a good mat like that's a matchup where i think sanctum seeker is probably better than a johnny because you get the triggers on attacking even if they make a whole bunch of zombies to block uh you know like those extra triggers instead of getting one one counters can be a lot more valuable there so i mean i guess if scape shift continues to be super super big maybe it is worth going with sanctum seeker there but basically, every for everything else, give me a Johnny. Um, but yeah, so this is this is what we got going on here. Um, I like Othakaya in this deck as a direct damage source. A lot of people aren't really expecting it. You know, get that lightning strike in here. And that's our three mana lightning strike. Um, but I think it's a it's a pretty good card. And uh, besides that, pretty pretty basic sideboard here and everything. So let's. Let's kick this stream off with some Orza Vampires today. Okay. So we're going to go Orza Vampires. Hey, Starman, good afternoon. <laughs> no, not. No, Hawkeye is not. We're not giving away Hawkeye. Hey, Quiltine. Thanks for the vets. Thanks, Storm. All right, we're at 98% to start the stream off today. Remember last night we ended at 95, but I I played a, a practice match with Mono Red, Ban, and Esper, all of those, like while I was making the decks today to just kind of make sure that I liked what I had going on and went 3-0 there, so we're up to 98%. We'll see if Vampires gets us that same luck. Not so much with this hand. Let's ship it. All right, playable hand, but not our most powerful stuff. You know, like our most powerful stuff are Knight of the Ebon Legion, Adante Vanguard, and Soren. You know, Soren is it's just so good, especially the Champion of Dusk. So these are kind of our ancillary pieces. But that was our first hand also. What's up, E-Claws? All right, so I mean, I'm keeping... I'll just put back the cast down. Could see putting back a Johnny here also. Uh, Selvin, I think you have it wrong. Nexus is banned in best of one, but Nexus is legal in best of three. But Nexus is banned in best of one. <laughs> Thanks, Eglaz. Have here Jun stuff. Um, the message box has has a character limit. No, I haven't seen, I haven't heard anybody ever struggling before with donating of putting a deck list in there. Oh, 
Okay, so if you're trying to post the entire deck, you you have to you have to go to like a third party site and put your deck list on a on a website. I I think I know what you're talking about here. Like for example, here's like Yeah. So like try going to like MTG Goldfish like there for example. That's a good one. So we got Jun Dinos, huh? This card is so much better than Vicious Conquistador. Having Death Touch, Vicious, Vicious Conquistador would not be very good. Why is Mono Red losing so much popularity? I'm. I think uh, the reason why is because I'm not. I'm not convinced that Mono Red is favored against Esper or against Scapeshift, and those are like, you know, two of the very most popular decks. And even vampires can be kind of tough because vampires can have a whole lot of life gain. So mono red's kind of in a in a bad spot with that. Now, the reason why I'm not convinced that it's not convinced if it's your that's not a good idea, opponent. That is not a good idea. That is not a good idea. Anyway, the reason why I'm not so convinced it's it's favored against Scapeshift is because Scapeshift is kind of built with everything being anti-aggro in the deck kind of thing. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna kind of find out today when I'm whenever I'm playing Mono Red. I'm definitely going four Blood Sun in the in the sideboard. I think it, it's really worth it to have four Blood Suns in the sideboard. Yep, this is the first time we've done we're doing tier one Tuesday, J Gomez. Um, so this, this is a little awkward. You know, Noxious Grasp only kind of kills like Ripjaw Raptor, which that's an important one to kill. But, you know, doesn't get rid of Marauding Raptor or uh, the Black Dino that we just saw, Rotting Regisaur. Um, Legion's End gets rid of Marauding Raptor and some of the some of, like the mana creatures. Probably worth it. Let's get rid of Othakaya. Vona. Vona can be worth it. I'm not sure about this Noxious Grasp, honestly. Kind of same thing with Dispark. Not so sure about that either. All right, we're going to get rid of Zealots. I'm going to get rid of a Johnny. I don't know. I love a Johnny bringing back Vampire of the Dire Moon, though. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim some Legion's Landings and trim a Vanguard. Not nah, just the one Vanguard. I'm going to play one of Johnny. Oh, Galt is a thing. Yeah, I suppose Galt is a thing. That's a good thing to Noxious Grasp. I I don't think they'll have Ceratops in this matchup. At least if I'm if I'm them, I'm not playing Ceratops after sideboard. But we'll see. I mean, I guess you never know. <laughs> I wish this was Soren. Wrong Planeswalker there. Hey, I heard Jean. Thank you so much. Sideboards for local meta, so feel free to tweak. Earliest time available, I will have to watch on YouTube. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I will play that tomorrow. 
I'll play that early early on tomorrow. Thanks, Eugene. Let's see what the deck is. Let's see what we got. Jund Unsealing. That's pretty sweet. We got a Sarkin Sarkin's Unsealing Jund Dino deck. Alright, that sounds pretty sweet. Got any more of those? Nope. Um, I would not be surprised if they had if they had some Registrar Alpha, but I'm not not exactly sure if they do or not, to be honest. I think I want to kill uh, Ripjaw Raptor. With that, hey Fairmount. Tips for getting out of gold rank. Um, maybe give, uh, maybe give one of these four decks that I'm playing today a try. Their Doom Waffle, or one of the decks I played on Sunday. Okay, I guess they do have shifting ceratops. Seriously? They're giving that haste? I am su very surprised they're letting my 2 mana 2-2 two -two trade with their dinosaur, and they're just happy with that. I am very surprised I got to trade there. And they had a flame sweep in hand, and they just let me trade. Wow. Um. Yeah, but I guess I don't really have any like specific uh, tips to get out of a, a single rank kind of thing. I don't I don't know if a good deck could be made using rule of law. I'm not I'm not sold rule of law is a card that really helps you win games in standard. You looked into some card replacements for the ones rotating out. Not really three man. I mean, I I understand that with rotation coming soon. This is this is definitely the time of year with rotation coming soon that people kind of not only play standard the the least, but yeah, are kind of scared to invest in standard kind of thing because of the cards rotating out. But for myself, I'm still just trying to play the decks that. Um, the best decks that I can and everything and haven't really been replacing stuff with things that don't ro rotate out kind of thing. Yeah, Jack, the Is It Land Destruction deck that I played last night was... just It just doesn't make any sense for me to minus and grab... I will lend you. I mean, I guess if I minus and grab the lieutenant, then he uses the they use the flame sweep, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense for me to do that. But anyway, the is it land destruction deck I played yesterday was was a deck that I was originally built kind of around Lotus Field, Blood Sun, Tails End, um, whenever I was first designing it and everything, and um, ended up moving away from a lot of that stuff because Blood Sun didn't work too well with 
uh, treasure map and search for Kanta, other cards that I needed for the deck. But still went with the Lotus Fields in there. No, you do not need multiple good decks to get to Mythic, no. Uh, with your rank, with the number here in Mythic, the lower the number, the worse for, the worse for you. The the higher the number, the better. This has been not good for us. Ten lands and sixteen cards. That was not good. All right, so uh, Johnny looked pretty bad. The reason why I kept one in because I wanted to try to get Vampire of the Dire Moon back, but it looked pretty bad there. All right, so yeah, we saw a lot of dis good Dispark targets, though, also. You know, Ripjaw, shif Shifting Ceratops, Galta, even Regisaur Alpha, we saw that one in there, too. Let's get these Disparks in here. Am I going to be able to, like, flip Legion's Landing? I mean, they have Flame Sweep also. Not so sure about this Legion's Landing. Maybe take that out. I mean, is Legion's Landing better than Sky Marcher Aspirant? Probably not. We should draw this card more. This card's pretty good. I guess I should keep a Legion's Landing in here. Yeah, I thought the guild deck thing was pretty cool. I liked that. Oh, you didn't have to worry about, you know, building your deck or everything like that. It was just built for you. You just choose a deck and play, and it was a fun event. Sand's not really that good. What if I should have cut a land? No, I should not have cut a land. Just mulligan to all of our hands. I'm mulliganing again. I, d I don't like this hand more. Like, ugh. We're getting just like the crappy cards in our deck. <laughs> we haven't seen a single, like even with all of these mulligans, we've, we've mulliganed every single game. So every, all three games, you know, we've seen 14 cards in our opener. And we have yet to see a Knight of the Ebon Legion or Soren Imperious Bloodlord yet. The two best cards in our deck. I played a few of the, the different guild decks and I ended up getting most of my wins with Izzet. I first started with Orzov and also played some Selesnia, and then is it, and then, um, and is it felt really good, and so that's what I played most of the time. Hey, Soren, what's up? Cool. I mean, I just gotta, I gotta get rid of this. Can't really let him have Ripjaw Raptor. Next turn. All right, at least we got a two for one. Got two of those, but they still got the, the Marauder, which I can, 
I can sacrifice, ooh, they're going to be shocking again. I was going to say, I can sacrifice Legion Lieutenant to kill Marauder. I wouldn't mind drawing, like, a, a one-mana vampire here. Or a five-mana vampire. wouldn't mind that either. All right, so my plan is going Soren here, you know, hitting them down to 11 with this. Uh, they play Ripjaw. I guess they're probably going to play... Oh, they're going to play Reggie. I was doing the math with them playing Ripjaw, but they're going to play Reggie. Never mind, that's going to... Reggie's going to kill my Soren. All right, well, I mean, we just need to draw, like, removal and stuff, but... So I was doing the math here of, like, it turns this into a 3-3. Next turn we play Lieutenant, which makes it a 4-4, plus on Soren again to make it a 5-5, and it gets to attack over the Ripjaw Raptor. You lost what little trust I had. But obviously that didn't work. Okay. I'll take those. There's some spells. Well, what we have in hand is better than Ripjaw Raptor and these, but our opponent has a lot more explosive draws, like if they draw like a Galta, for example, or just some kind of crazy removal spell or something. But obviously they get that other draw step there. I'm not sure if actually playing the Knight of the Ebon Legion is correct here, or if I'm supposed to be holding on to the Knight because I don't have the activated ability up. So if they if they have removal, they can get rid of the Knight right now, you know, like an ambush or something. Or uh, uh, we've seen the the dinosaur stomp thing. Soren's my best draw. Draw another Soren here, because I could attack for eight in the air. Soren do, does another three. Or... Oh, no, I took out the Othakaya. Yeah, I took out the Othakaya, but that would be a good draw. I was hoping they were not going to attack, to be honest. It's a good one. <laughs> so 
So rewarded for playing the knight last turn, because now we have activated ability for knight and to spark up. And they didn't kill my knight, so rewarded there. I'll just kill, like, you know, Reggie and that dino. They're just both dead, but they'll just grow the marauding raptors. So we have to, like, the th basically the thing that we have to be worried about is them having collision colossus. Specifically Colossus on one of these Marauding Raptors. That's, that's like the only thing to be worried about right now. I guess Flame Sweep's a real thing, though, too. Flame Sweep could be a real problem. I... Yeah, I guess Flame Sweep could be a real problem. I have eight toughness. My stuff dies to flame sweep if I do this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I meant to cast that to Spark first, but I guess I clicked OK one too many times. But yeah, I meant to cast to Spark, but oh well. It worked. <laughs> Here we, did, we witness an epic f fight between dinosaurs and vampires. That is pretty cool how, like, Ixalan, you know, Ixalan's getting a run for their money here at the end. Before they rotate out, you know, you see like Ripjaw Raptor has like the art of a dinosaur eating up a vampire, and a Danto Vanguard has the art of a vampire stabbing a dinosaur kind of thing. And so, you know, in the storyline too, the vampires and the dinosaurs do not like each other. And now we have the combination of them. I know, I was actually thinking about that earlier today. I was like, I need to make a pirate and a merfolk deck. I think pirates could actually be kind of cool. I have some good ideas for pirates. Pirates have a lot of stuff. I think I could make, I think I could make a pirate deck. Play a green ley line where... What... So what what are you referencing? What what are you asking? A green ley line where? In Bant Ramp from today? No, I'm not. Nope. Nope, no green ley line. Just guy control, huh? This is my best play against Deafening Clarion. Jeskai decks are usually playing Deafening Clarions. If I just go with like the dub dubs one drops, that can be a little rough. I have other obligations. Hmm. 
So obviously hoping no, uh, <clears throat> no cleansing Nova. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Yeah, Brian Warren Cutthroat's a new Merfolk too. Seen that coming. Hmm. Yeah, well, what do we want to do, Kitty? I'm not sure if I really want to play the Legion's Landing first. Yeah, we'll just do it. Keep a couple of threats back. Basically, <clears throat> the two one ones aren't really hitting very hard, so we'll put you know get one of the one ones out here. We'll leave a couple back in case of sweepos. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's try this. And that's why we didn't just play everything. So one's a good one. I'll protect you. Do you think your rock the desecrated is worth crafting? No, they're not playing Settle. So there's not a Settle here. What's up, Radical Guru? So I guess it... I don't know, um... It depends on what you want to do with your rock. I, I think it's a really fun card to play and everything. Um, as you see, like from either my rank up Sunday stream or now my tier one Tuesday stream, you know none of them, none of these decks are your rock decks, so they're not. I don't think your rock is a part of like one of the best decks of the format. Duress, Black Blade, Grasp, Dispark. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can go with some Disparks. They're probably playing Sor or Sarkin and stuff too. But with seeing Ixalan's Binding, Fona may not be so bad. Alright, so as far as cards to take out, Cast Down, Oath of Kaya, uh, Vampire of the Dire Moon. Legion's Lieutenant. I'm doing on creatures over here. 22. And then with this thing, 25. Is that too much interaction still?
Vona's very good against aggro, where you want the the lifelink creature, like, you know, against the red decks, where you want four power lifelink creature. Four toughness, sorry. And then also, yeah, decks without very much removal that aren't killing you very quickly. Vona can help out there as well. No, no lands. I don't need land number five already. There we go. That's a good card. Just hoping they don't have exile removal for the Vanguard. All right. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't know if Historic's going to have ranked or not. I, I'm kind of expecting it to not have ranked immediately, but to gain rank after, like, within the first couple months kind of thing. Which I don't think makes a lot of sense, but I... I think it should have ranked right away, but I think, that, I mean, this is all just like what I kind of expect to happen. I'm kind of expecting, um, kind of expecting it to not, not to have ranked right away and then everybody complain about it not having ranked and then wizards realizing that it should have ranked and then it has rank. Correct. That's 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 what it will be. Historic will be everything that's currently in standard right now. The eight sets plus the ninth set, the set uh, in the fall, Throne of Eldraine. Don't worry, I got this. You lost what little trust I had. Aggressively trading off that vanguard. Or sorry, the, the history tokens. Sorry. Well, I brought in a ton of interaction. We haven't seen any of it yet, though. Let's see if we get that soon. Might be a bad idea. Okay. Only time will tell. I kind of want to kill Ascanta, honestly. No, let's just resolve a Johnny. See in yourself what I see in you. 
I think I can. I think I can outgrind two cards over there. Let's see though. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. All right, never mind. Let's get some life link up in here. Which I guess, I guess the Gideon would have gave me life link anyway. Banish evil from this place. Put a counter on the Gideon. Make it a five-five. Strength is born of struggle. I will lend you my strength. Uh, I'm reaching my boiling point. But the thing is, like, without... Yeah, maybe I could have taken out his Kanta. That's... I don't know. We'll see how it plays. We'll see. Let's get toasty. It's going to be pretty difficult for my opponent to beat this. I think the best Chandra decks are... Um, ugh, are probably elementals, like rampant. They're not, gosh, they're not playing settle, right? Prepare for battle. It's kind of, you know, like debating whether or not to attack with, with the Gideon. You are capable of more than you assume. Sorry when I come back. Uh, yeah, Hour of Darkness, I, I don't know, honestly. I haven't played Modern since before Arclight Phoenix. <laughs> you know, before, since, before Guilds of Ravnica, so I don't. I don't know exactly what's going on in modern right now. And this vampire deck's pretty sweet. Uh, tier one decks are good. They are good. That's what we're playing today. All right, Fairmont, see you back here in a minute. Professional modern magic player. Any advice for somebody wanting to be a professional modern magic player? Uh, 
Um, without Modern being supported on Arena, I don't know if that's a very, a very good career path to try to go into. I don't know if that's something that's uh, going to be a long-term thing. So this is this is kind of a problem. I need to cast down this Marauding Raptor. Like I need to kill the Marauding Raptor, but I don't I don't want to. Basically, I want to be able to Oath of Kaya it. We don't but you know, I don't don't necessarily have Oath of Kaya mana next turn. This is not good having not having mana. It's not good. All right, should have cast down that stupid dinosaur. I knew that's what I should have done. I was just really greedy there with the Othakaya. All right, so play this one before. Let's get these Legion's ends. Noxious grasp to sparks. Vonas and um, get rid of this Oath of Kaya. Landings, Vanguard, Zealot, Ajani. Okay. <laughs> we are down a game. Gotta get games two and three. I'll take it. It's these Legion's Lieutenants have been kinda weird, you know, not just I'm just not playing that many creatures right now. And so they're kind of like two mana two twos. So they've been looking like. That's a really good draw. We get to soar and put in Vona next turn. The problem, of course, is all their two drops are really scary. Like all their two drops accelerate them so much. This is just the best play, though. If they, if they have some something, I don't know, like Fry, or you know, something that kills the Vona here, I don't want them to then be able to just attack the Soren for one. Who do I think's favored in this matchup? Probably the dinosaur deck. Dinosaurs are just so big. We're both, you know, playing creatures, they're just playing bigger ones. It's pretty close though. That's annoying. So they have Collision Colossus. 
It's like a... That just means they have Colossus. So if I block with Vona... Like, yeah, blocking with Vona does not make any sense here, basically. I could block with Lieutenant. That also doesn't really make any sense. Flame sweep. And yep, there's Colossus. A land would have been would have been really clutch for us to draw. Here, how I could have gone Lieutenant and like cast down one of these things and Lieutenant, that would have been really clutch. Then then we would have been gaining six here. We would not be having our creature die to flame sweep. But Vona should still win this for us. We're in a really good spot. They're pretty dead. Yeah, they're they're dead. No, are you kidding me? Let me let me do my thing. I guess I have to do full control, I guess. That's annoying. Should have dealt another three damage there, but shouldn't matter. Alright, so but that's a good good thing that we learned that they learned that now that we gotta full control the Vona. And there, that's a good thing to learn there. So, yep. I'll know that for next time, if we get Vona out again. We'll know we got a full control. To be able to do that, do Vona's ability before blockers. Hmm. Don't love our hand. But I don't think it's a mulligan. I would like to draw Legion's End or Cast Down or Knight of the Ebon Legion or Soren. I don't know. I really want, I really want to kill the two drop. That's not what I want. We have not seen a game yet. We have not seen a game where our where our opponent does not have either Huntmaster or um or Marauding Raptor on turn two. It has not existed. Really hoping no more Riptar Raptors.
just a gr just a uh, just a really great hand. Yeah, that was that was an awesome hand for our opponent. Uh, you know, whenever I, I I kept a weak one, yes, and you know I was hoping to draw into like some more removal because I, I have so much removal here post board, but my draws were were not good with uh, the the vampire. That's a good draw. That was my first good draw, in, you know, turn four here. But the first three turns, not not drawing anything better to do on turn three than just play this legion's lieutenant, you know, between having removal and anything else. It was. Not good. Yeah, we we're talking about that, that that earlier. That that art for van, for the Vanguard and the Ripjaw Raptor. You know, the, like the Ripjaw Raptor is tearing up a, a vampire. Certainly, really hurt them having another one. Yeah. Well, all right. Great hand. All right. Well, I need to. My seven card hand was not beating that, so I guess I need to mulligan. Don't you hate that when you have like a, a seven card hand that's like it's not awful. But it's like, you know, it's below average, but it's not it's not terrible. So you keep it and you just wish you would have mulliganed. You wish you wish your hand was just an awful hand, so it was like really easy mulligan decision. It was not a hand that was beating the opponent's really great hands. See, like, why can't we just have this? Just easy, okay, mulligan it. How? With a sub. Let's get some hype in the chat. For our new subscriber, thank you so much there, pal. Our second sub of the day. This hand's pretty good. But what to what to put back is kind of tough. I guess I'm going to put back a Vanguard. Vanguards can be really, really good, depending on the matchup. But I guess the second, having two Vanguards means that it's... Yeah, I guess having two Vanguards can mean that it's difficult to... Uh, pay life to keep both of them around kind of thing. And I'm glad I got rid of a Vanguard with us playing against the Rakdos deck. This is not a good matchup for Vanguard. It is my best card against against Dreadhorde Butcher right here for this scenario. Because they can't kill it. Maybe we'll draw a Soren. That'd be awesome. Oh, not another Vanguard. Stop. I can maybe handle one. I can't play anymore.
Thanks, Twister. Thank you so much. Hey, Yud. Tesa. Yeah, I, I have a playlist that I'm just that I'm playing. I, I put together a playlist. This is my playlist here. That's my stream playlist. If you ever have music suggestions for the stream playlist, there's a place for song requests in the Discord channel. If y'all aren't a part of the Discord channel and the big community there, you should be. That's free for everybody. There's a link there. There's also a link in, in all the YouTube videos if you're watching this later on YouTube. Hmm. So Footlight Fiend deals three damage. It's a lot of damage. No, it deals four. It deals four. It could, if I attack... This is rough. I can't even attack into Foot Light Fiend. I guess I kind of have to, though. So I should kill the Legion's Lieutenant plus do two damage to me. I want to start making these life linkers with the Adanta though. Dreadhorde Butcher coming in as a 3-3, three, three, huh? Okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. For my bloodline flows through you. So 
and gain seven life. Guess we don't need to do that. We'll be at twelve. Go down to ten. So option was either be at four or be at uh, sixteen or fifteen. Be at fifteen by activating this thing, or be at ten and making a one one. I'm just gonna go ten, make a one one. No, I haven't clicked on the opponent's cat. Does it do anything? Oh, <laughs> the hiss at you? Oh no. That's not good. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. That's not good. That's a mythic. That thing kills my Soren. If they want. Or worse. I don't know, it's worse. So Dreadhorde Butcher can do 6 damage to me. So I, I can't pay 4 life there. Because otherwise they would kill me. So, good play by the opponent. This does mean I don't get to attack with attack Chandra with that thing yet. So we're just going to go block, sacrifice, kill the Chandra. And I'd, I'd say we're ahead. I think we're ahead. Yeah, I don't think our opponent should have attacked there with it. I think that's where they, they messed up was that attack. Uh oh. That brings things back. All right, good job, Soren. And really, it was that Adanto. It was definitely a really good thing that I attacked that turn and flipped the Legion's Landing. Flipping that Legion's Landing won me that game. All right, Legion's End, Vona. Um, maybe just those. Let's 
trim like two Adanto Vanguards. As we saw there, like one Adanto Vanguard can do some work for us, but it's not something that I want multiple of. Vampire of the Dire Moon can be kind of weak here, too, with, like, Footlight Fiends and stuff. Maybe I do that. Maybe I just trim Vampire of the Dire Moon. All right, here we go. Yeah, we'll have to see if there's some some more vampire help in the fairy tale set. Or even if it's not next set, I could see just throughout the next year and the next year's core set and so on. I, I bet like before rotation next year we'll have another vampire deck, honestly. I don't think this is gonna be I don't think it's gonna just be like this is the only time Soren Imperious Bloodlord gets played. Uh, throughout its standard life. Hey, Matthew. Well, good thing. Good thing I got rid of one of the other. Well, good thing I put the other Sky Marcher Aspirant down at the bottom. God's willing. Wah, wah. I think this is. I do not believe. This is Soren's last time to shine. I think Soren will shine more than just right now. Oh, that's really annoying. Because now if I go Soren, Vona, and they kill Vona, then they kill Soren, and then I just lose. That's why I I saved the cast down instead of playing the landing because I wanted you know I wanted to try to keep the battlefield clear for whenever I played Sora Vona. I think it's still my play though, even though this you know it could be my opponent knows about these cards. You know, it could be walking into a trap here. You know, it could just be mortify and then kill Soren kind of thing. But I, I think this is still the, the play. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. No, bad sign. Uh, the Blood Lord's gone. Pretty sure they scry to the top with that other God's Willing. Uh, looks like they scryed the red source to the top. Hmm. This block's not great if I draw another three mana Soren. I'll wait a turn. We'll take one damage. In fact, I have I, this thing has life link anyway. We're like not even. Yeah, it's actually just a fine. Because the other reason, not only three mana Soren, but then also champion. Uh, champion would have been a good reason to keep that token around too.
I believe it's possible to reach level 100 without buying levels with these extra events they have and everything, but maybe not. Like, maybe it's, like, low 90s or something. I'm honestly not exactly sure, but I believe so. I really don't want to shock there for the lieutenant. Yeah, according to that graphic they had, they, it said that you would reach 94 if you play every day. But does that include... I'm not sure if that includes um, the extra events that they have. I should at least play Legion's Lieutenant first. I, you know, I didn't want them to know about the Vona, but yeah, I could have just played Legion's Lieutenant first. Oh, you better not have just drawn a removal spell for my Vona here. I need my Vona. We'll attack with our three big things next turn. Flip the landing. Probably Dawn, but it's 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 hard to say. Um, but not def it's it's not a definite that rank five hundred is enough with twenty two hours left. One of the one of the other seasons I was right around there I was like rank around three hundred with like sixteen hours left and I got bumped out and I had to you know, I checked like an, with an hour hour or two left and I was outside of the top thousand, so um, I wouldn't say that you're completely safe. So I gained two life in this exchange. So I'm going to gain six, lose four. No, top 300 isn't 100% safe. It depends on how many people are playing. I don't... Yeah, I just don't know what my opponent's going to be doing here, but I'll just not play the Zealot. All right, good comeback there. Three one. Yep. Yeah, I agree with Rad there. The top thousand does move a lot in the final day.
it's hard to say though you know like each month's been a little different like the there's been a month where there's been a lot of movement there's been other months where there hasn't been so it's it's hard to say I would say there's a better than 50% chance that somebody ranked number 500 right now finishes in the top 1,000. I'd say it's a better than 50% chance, but not a lot better. I don't know if my opponent's playing a trickster, Merfolk Trickster deck. If so, Danto Vanguard isn't very valuable against Merfolk Trickster. Like this is likely just all flyers though and no tricksters, but I think I still just want the the lieutenants in play. There you go, Matthew. That's That's good though. All right, so we have to be worried about rally the rally of wings, right? Like that's the card that we need to be worried about. They just what? Wait. Oh no, I don't. Oh no, I'm only putting them down. I'd only put them down to one. Never mind. They the life gain from Healer's Hawk. I missed that. I missed the the life link there from Healer's Hawk. So four, five, six, seven. So this is only nine permanents, unfortunately, if I play both permanents. I think I still activate this. Though instead of playing Vanguard, put them down to one. Yeah. Double rally, would that have gotten me? Yeah, double rally would get me there. My current favorite strongest deck. Um, so maybe my current favorite deck right now is Grixis Control. I really liked the last couple of times we played Grixis. It's not, it wouldn't be the strongest though. Team or Elementals felt really, really good whenever we played it on Sunday, also. So besides one of these these other tier one decks that I haven't played quite yet, I guess I would I would answer Team or Elementals is strongest and Grixis is favorite. Yeah, my opponent's using the Moo Yanling sleeves, so this happens whenever you're playing the Moo Yanling sleeves. Alright, so we want Legion's End. We'll go Noxious Grasp for the flyer that pumps all the other flyers, the blue-white card. I guess I want Vona here, too. They're taking out the Zealots. Maybe not the Vonas. Uh, just kind of running out of time. Let's get rid of Allegiance a landing, actually. No, are you? Come on, I still have like 10 seconds left. I was just going over to here to click done, and it <sighs> happens so often. I don't get to sideboard the tier one deck stream yeah I'm not doing the Sultai flash on the tier one deck stream right now because I've, I've played that deck a couple of times recently you know, like we just we just played it on rank up Sunday 
And so I'm playing different decks that I don't play all the time here right now. Land. Darn. If I would have drawn the land here, I would have Othakai had the eagle before they play like another eagle or something that pumps it up even more. I'd... Oh well, I don't have. I don't really have thoughts of Throne of Eldraine right now. We don't really know anything in the set right now. Thoughts there. I don't don't know anything about it yet. Besides, besides, it's a fairy tale set. That's all we know. All right, it's actually sideboard. Is Vona better than Champion of Dusk here? Definitely possible. Should I play two Vonas, two Champions? Yeah, let's do that. Let's play two Vona, two Champion. Yes, Arena is bugged where whatever sleeves your opponent is using all of your cards during sideboard have the animation of those sleeves. So my opponent is using the Mu Yan Link sleeves, and also bugged are the Mu Yan Link sleeves that those have the animation of that. They just have like that pink box animation there. So whenever you play against somebody with the Mu Yan Link sleeves, that happens with sideboarding. No, I am not playing Bandscape Shift. I don't want Soren to get countered. Yay. Four mana exile as a creature. Now I don't have any Finale of Glories in the Bant Ramp deck either. It's it's all Simic in the main deck. You know, like Elementals, Nexus of Fate, Tamiyo, Nissa. And then there's a good amount of white cards in the sideboard. For life. 
trust I had. Not looking great for us with them having Safara here. We need to, you know, draw some spells. Oh, that's a good spell. Never mind, it looks good for us. All right, vampires. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a good one drop. <laughs> that's a very powerful one drop. When I said that it did, didn't look that great for us, I was also I was kind of assuming that my opponent was going to be playing another creature after uh, you know, like that other turn, and then play Safara after the other creature, and they would have. Safara plus a creature in play where they could chump block with the other creature and uh, into perpetuity because it'd be indestructible. So that's what I was thinking. I thought, you know, like they were going to have six mana. They had their draw step plus four mana draw card with the other spirit. And between those two, they would find some creature that cost two or less. And then, uh, and then the next turn they have their other draw step and so so all they needed was out of those two they needed a creature that cost two or less and then they needed um a land out of the three cards also and then they go land safara and then safara says their other creatures have indestructible and so that's what i was worried about but it didn't happen they didn't find a creature and then i also top decked removal spell and so yeah so it was just over all right, anyway, four and one for Vampires there. Uh, went one and one against the John Dino deck. With my loss, I kept a a below average hand on game three, but it, that's about it. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't, a, it wasn't great. Um, but I thought it was a keep, you know, it was a good mix of lands and spells. And I kept it, and our opponent had an awesome hand and just ran us over. Um... So that that happens. Um, they had turn they had turn three Ripjaw Raptor, which I killed. I had my removal soul for that. But then turn four, they had another Ripjaw Raptor and a Shifting Ceratops. Both of those on turn four. And yeah, it was it was it was rough. Um, but yeah, good start for our tier one Tuesday. Very good deck here. Uh, we didn't really see the power of a Johnny Adversary Tyrants here. Johnny helps out more in control matchups. But it got to do some work. We got to put some counters on some stuff. Um, but yeah, this is just a, a really good deck. Uh, I definitely really liked having all these Legion Zens in the sideboard. That's something that not everybody's playing three Legion Zens right now. But this card was incredible for us. Uh, did did some good work against the Dinos deck, and you know that that last matchup. And you know we just played against a lot of small creature decks, and Legion End is awesome. Love having all those in there. Vona was super good for us in the sideboard also. Yeah, this card was incredible. And Champion of Dusk, awesome. Knight of, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Soren, Champion of Dusk. Stick around the best cards. There we go. That's Orzhov Vampires. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And hope you enjoyed our first Tier 1 Tuesday deck. Uh, make sure you check out the other decks and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button there as well. But that's it here for Warzaw Vampires. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.